Hi, I'm John Rose, the developer of the latest version of FlexMonkey. In this video, I'm going to talk about the component verification command in FlexMonkey. In our left navigation pane, it's the first checkbox. The next one is the expression verify with the grid and then, well, excuse me, with the gear. And then there's the data grid verification with the grid on it. The component verification is kind of a core kind of thing behind FlexMonkey and the easiest way to validate state. So when you're doing FlexMonkey tests, you're going to interact with your application and you want to validate that after I've done these interactions, such and such exists on the screen. You would use the verify to do that. Um, so we haven't actually interacted with our application. You can kind of see the full flow in the introductory video, but let's drag in a verify and let's verify our, our clear button. So we can verify that his label matches uh, and is clear. And so this, this little panel here is saying verification property is the entered value of clear. So that's what we want. So we'll save that guy and we'll play him back and everything matches so he works fine. So there's actually two kinds of verification you can do on a component. One is property verification. And the niceness around this type of verification is that he's finding all the properties for you. So if you're not a developer and you don't know all about the components, it's a great way to pick a component, all visual, gives you back the list. You can search that list for values that are meaningful for you. Check the box, they end up in this list. The other thing you can do is verify a snapshot. So this actually compares that what's on the screen matches what was on the screen when you recorded the test. So if we check this box on, this verify snapshot box, I'm turning up the fuzziness. I'll tell you about that in just a minute. I can play him and he's actually putting this, that this actual and expected match. They look very similar because they're exactly a match, which is obviously what we want. So let me pull the edit back up. Um, the fuzziness setting is important because if with bitmap verification, it's comparing down to the pixel. So this actually says to allow some fuzziness in those pixels because say you record your tests on Mac, but you're running on Windows, things actually don't come out pixel perfect, even if to the naked eye they look exactly the same. So that's an important part of bitmap verification to understand. So that's kind of the component verification thing. Uh, you can validate properties and snapshots. Uh, as a word of caution, I would only use the snapshot stuff where you really, really need to know something looks exactly right because of the brittleness that you get with um, the fuzziness part and say your applications run at a slightly different resolution and things are scaled all those things will affect uh, bitmaps but generally a great feature when you need it just use it sparingly and hopefully that helps you to understand how you can use the component verification feature of FlexMonkey